in sense we offer to Christ God for an odor of spiritual fragrance receive it upon life from the altar, send on the past of the divine grace of my altar.
for seeds, nor weather for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most pure, most holy, most blessed, and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other. And all our life unto Christ our God. For unto me are to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Lord, compassionate, merciful, long suffering, and plenteous in mercy, give ear to our prayer, attend to the voice of our supplication.
For when the Lord there is mercy with him, he lent his redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. When the love of God is set on me, Thank you. 
throne, the Lord is King, he is robed in majesty.
remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord.
holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good. 
and he loves mankind. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory. Well, happy Fourth of July uh, to everyone. Um, wish you a, a, a blessed Independence Day, and I, I hope that you were able to spend uh, some time with your family, and you were able to, uh, your friends, uh, to celebrate um, the independence of, uh, of our nation. But even more importantly, you've decided to come here and celebrate the independence of humanity through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, which for us um, is the, uh, the greatest festival and the greatest feast, and that's why we celebrate it every Sunday. Uh, it's the Lord's Day, and we remember that through his death, uh, Christ has annihilated death and has led those who are held captive free. Uh, each and every one of us, every single person that's ever lived or will live, uh, their lives, whether they know it or not, has been changed by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the freedom that he offers us. But we do have an opportunity on this day as Americans to also cherish uh, our forebearers and the, and the great freedoms that we enjoy in this country. So we give thanks, thanks to God uh, for our land. Uh, we also today are celebrating um, two uh, great saints of the church, the Venerable Athanasius of Athos and the Venerable Sergius of Radenesh. Um, they came from very different parts of the world. Athanasius, of course, being, from, uh, uh, being the founder of the Great Lavra on Mount Athos, uh, he grew up in, uh, in the Mediterranean in Greece, uh, and Sergius um, was from Russia. Uh, both of them are uh, credited uh, with founding very significant monasteries uh, in their time and in their land, both with the blessing of the Mother of God. It was Athanasius who received the word from the Mother of God that the, the holy mountain called Mount Athos was going to be her garden and that she herself would be the abbess of Mount Athos. And then we heard in the hymnography tonight for Sergius of Rodinez, I want to share this uh, with you. Um, it says the following. O divinely wise Father Sergius, when thou dost hear a divine voice that said to thee, Behold the coming of the most pure one, then thou dost begin to make thyself worthy of this visitation. With many spiritual labors and fervent prayer, light brighter than the sun illumine thee showing to thy spiritual and bodily eyes the Mother of God. And thou hast heard her words to thee, I shall not abandon this place, and thy monastery shall not be in want. Entreat her to save and to enlighten our souls. Now, um, I'm not bragging, okay? But I've had the opportunity to be in both these places, Mount Athos, and then several years ago to be at uh, the Holy Trinity St. Sergius Monastery uh, in Russia. Both places that have been soaked and saturated in tears and in prayer. Both Athanasius and Sergius suffered a lot during their life lifetimes. They didn't receive some vision from the Mother of God and then after that it was easy street. Like, hey, all right. It was a life of struggle. But it was one that was focused on Christ and fulfilling the vocation that God had given to them and been encouraged to have by the Mother of God. We brothers and sisters are also desirous of her prayers on our behalf because she loves Christ and she follows him and directs people towards him. And receiving her blessing, both Sergius and Athanasius founded really significant and beautiful places of worship and prayer and spiritual consolation for the faithful. It wasn't selfish. The labors that God gave them were for others to be nourished. Do you know how many people were nourished through those places? Sergius apparently helped found 40 monasteries before he died. That's pretty significant. The great Lavra on Mount Athos itself gave, gave birth to lots of different skeets and smaller monasteries. Even to this day, 
It stands as a, a real beacon of strength. Even at times when things were diminished and depleting on Mount Athos, there was still this heartbeat of prayer that was happening. Even in the midst of communist Russia, a heartbeat of prayer going on at the Trinity, uh, the Holy Trinity St. Sergius uh, Monastery. And we see what kind of spiritual fruit can be born from obedience. What spiritual fruit can be born when seeking the intercessions of the Mother of God. What spiritual fruit can be born by keeping our eyes focused on Jesus Christ. So we have the example of both of them uh, to encourage us. Um, and I encourage you to, uh, to go on onto the Google machine uh, and check out the great lava on Mount Athos and see how year upon year and, and generation upon generation that, that place was built up spiritually. And the same with St. Sergius, uh, sorry, Holy Trinity St. Sergius um, uh, Monastery, uh, Lavra in, uh, in Russia. Places of prayer, places of refuge. And you know, in a small way, but in a significant way, that's what this church is. Okay, we don't have like eight or nine different chapels off the side and all of this other sort of stuff, but this place is a place of spiritual hope and consolation, not just for us, but for the entire community, everywhere around us. We have a responsibility to be that place. And so we need to seek the intercessions of the Mother of God. We need to keep our eyes focused on Christ so that we might enjoy the freedom and the independence that he has given us in the glory of the kingdom of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. It's nice to see the Hakes here. Uh, newly returned to Harrisburg. So it's uh, nice to see you guys settled in. So God bless you uh, and strengthen you. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy.